A reporter who's been on the ground for us today is Muloko Muloto, who's joining us now. He's also been talking to a number of people, including political parties and different role players, and finding out uh, the sentiment there on the ground. Muloko, just tell us exactly where you are this afternoon as we await the arrival, we're told, of the president and the premier of Gauteng. Yes, Braden. I am standing just on uh, the street uh, behind uh, the one where <coughs> this tragedy happened. And uh, just a short while ago, I saw the premier of Gauteng, Panyazali Sufi, walking past here, um, saying that, look, we'll talk a bit later, going to where the uh, incident happened. And of course, uh, presumably he is coming here as well uh, as the premier to even welcome the president who will be coming to do an inspection here. But I want my colleague Shahid to pan and show you what is happening here. Majority of these people here, Braden, I have figured are brothers from uh, countries across the continent of Africa. Many of those that I spoke to are from Malawi. They unfortunately are not willing to speak to us on camera, but I'm going to take Thank you so much for your time. I just want to check whether you guys know some of the people who might have died or got injured last night there. Uh, the one if they, the one injured is too much, our brothers. It's too much. The one is injured, our brothers. It's too much, very too much. Very many people that you know you say got injured last night. Where do you, do, you, do you have any idea as to some of those who stayed there, who possibly could have survived the inferno? Do you know where they, they are now? Do you know where they are going to be sleeping tonight? Hey, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. We don't know the ID, the one, the people, the one who stayed there. Mm. Yes, that's why I'm confused also what happened. Because oh. we don't know. It was night, mm. so we can't know. All right. And, and why do you think there are so many people gathered in the street at this point in time? Because I see many of them are foreign nationals. So now the problem, now the problem, I can't get information now. Okay. There are many people. All right. No, thank you so much, uh, Braden. If you still have time, let's, let's just quickly go to these ones who are seated here and try our luck hoping that uh, they would speak to us. If they don't, we will respect that. Gentlemen, good evening. Is, are you willing to speak to us? You are live on ENCA. I just want to find out, as you are seated here, what's going on in your mind? Mm, the problem the house it was fire, it was burning yesterday. So if now so we don't know what we can do, we lose also our brothers. He was going to hospital. If until now, we don't know where is it. We are still worrying about that. Okay, if I can just ask you to speak a bit loud so that uh, people at home can hear you. Are you telling me that uh, you do know somebody who stayed in there? Perhaps uh, you do you know their whereabout now? I know my brother, the one that he was he stayed there, but for now, if he, he was going yesterday in a hospital, but even now I don't know where he is now. Where is he from and where are you from? I'm coming from Malawi, and also that guy came from Malawi. Mm. Yes. I'm not too sure if you heard the sentiment, really, even from some of the leaders. They seem to be okay. pointing the Muluko, finger of blame on yeah, you. Muluko, for Muluko, we're going to have to leave it there for now. We understand that the Premier of Gauteng now is around and is addressing uh, the people. So, sorry, Muloko, we're going to have to leave it there and take our viewers live to that uh, briefing by Panyazali Sufi.